I was sexually molested by uh, some family members, very close family members. It started with my father, and it was three brothers in my family, and then I left. that went on for a while. And then when I turned 14, I was abused, sexually abused by a pastor of the church. And that caused me to really think of myself in a very unworthy way. And I felt very dirty, very unclean. And even when I went to tell my mom what would happen, she blamed me. She said that I deserved it, like I wanted it. And I was a little girl. And it just really messed me up. At a young age, I started drinking um, to just try to numb the pain and to try to make myself feel good inside, but it didn't really didn't help. And also, I was looking for love because I did, only love I ever knew was when a man touched me and it was sexual. So I was very young, so I started looking for love in all the wrong places. I was very promiscuous when I was a young girl. I started just having sex with men and all over the place. And then when I was very young, I decided that I was, if I wasn't worth anything and I was going to be having sex and people were going to use me, I figured I would just get some money for it. So I just started prostituting myself, not knowing the damage that I was doing to myself. First time I got pregnant, I was 16 years old, still in high school, and I had my first child at 17. I had a miscarriage when I was at 19. As I said earlier, the pastor from the church was abusing me, and I just was so confused and conflicted, and I couldn't believe how he was sitting in the pulpit. He would be preaching about, thou shalt not do this, and then after church, he would be sneaking me or trying to you know, get to me and have sex with me and so I was just miserable I was so messed up and from there I just continued on doing drugs my drugs went from uh, alcohol marijuana then it eventually went to crack cocaine and that's when my life just went completely downhill I just started doing crack and living on the streets getting it however I could doing whatever I had to do to get it I lost my home I lost my self-respect I lost my children I lost two more children from uh, pregnancies that couldn't couldn't live in my body because it was so polluted. I, I got into a relationship and I really thought he loved me and I ended up being in that relationship for over 13 years and then the whole time he beat me, abused me, just, just, just treated me just horrible. I was being attacked every night by demons. They would come and they would just get on top of me and hold me down and I couldn't move. I couldn't, my mouth couldn't move and it was horrible. I mean, it was so frightening. And I would see shadows, and my children would even see me struggling, and they would come in. And my daughter, one time, she heard me. She literally came in, and she was just slapping me, trying to wake me up. And so basically what happened was I was in my room, and it was like 3 o'clock, 3 o'clock in the morning. And so I couldn't go to sleep. I don't know why. I just I couldn't go to sleep, so I was up. And I heard my mom mumbling. I was like, what is that? So I got up. I went to go see what it was, and my mom was laying there. She couldn't move. She, it's like she was trying to talk, but her mouth was just shut. Like, she couldn't say anything. She couldn't move. So I had to get her up. So I tried to get her up, wake her up, because it was scaring me. I was like, what is going on right now? And I woke up, and I looked, and I seen this, this thing. It was on side of me, and it was smiling. And it had the most evil smile, and it was like it was enjoying the suffering that I was going through. And I knew at that moment, I said, God, I can't take this. I need help. And I got the courage. I walked through the doors of a universal church, and they prayed for me. And I, I, I fell down and got delivered. The, he cast this demon. This, a demon came out. And ever since that day, and I had depression. I've been depressed for over 10, 15 years. And, I, and the doctors had put me on many medications for antidepressants and I, nothing was working and I'm gonna tell you that night that I went in there and I got that prayer my kids can tell I slept like a baby my life has been completely changed ever since from a little girl I was abused and I'm 57 years old now and I know God loves me now and nothing that has happened to me in my past will ever ever affect me again we all saw uh, what was happening and we all saw the difference and it is a very big difference now there's so many things that have changed for the better and I honestly can not say how much I love my mom because I do um, and yeah and it's just been really powerful to see that change there was generational curses you could see the uh, curse of perversion from the molestation the uh, curse of uh, uh, bondage from the alcohol because my father was an alcoholic and so you could just see it and, and and I wanted it to stop at this generation 
When we come to him, he will break those curses. And I don't want my kids to go through that. I don't want to see my daughter standing on the corner selling her body for crack or my son selling it or beating women. I wanted that to stop. And it was only the power of God that, in, that, 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 that stopped that curse from spreading to them and then to their children and future generations. So I thank God for that. The Bible says that for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. So that is true because if for the McDonald family, this curse is broken. It is destroyed. It is no more. Thank you.